Hi everyone, welcome to my channel where I share patterns with you through tutorials. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make this crochet granny square top. We will work this top in stages. So what I did was I worked, called this the bottom round of my top. I call that round one, this entire round. I worked the first granny square and then I went on to join the next granny squares. It was worked in the round. There are steps for the first granny square and then there are steps for the second granny square and you will repeat those steps for, for as many granny squares you need to uh, join for the size that you are working. When you get to the end, there's a separate step for bringing these two edges together. So the reason that I worked it that way was so that you would be able to get this to the size that you want to make it at. You will work as many granny squares as need be to fit around your upper hip or your waist. And then it's round two for the body. And for round two and continuing on, I work this top adding gran one granny square at a time. So I work the first granny square and then I joined in the second granny square and then the third and so on. So I didn't work it in the round as I had done for the first round. And then we got to the shoulders where I joined one granny square at a time. So when you get to the shoulders, it's slightly different here because I join one granny square for the front panel and then I move on to join one granny square for the back panel. And that's only because of this flower motive that you see here. Because you see it on this side of your shoulder, but it isn't on that side. And that helps, doing it that way helps with the orientation of my panels. Because can you imagine starting on this side here and working your way and here to know that there's no flower motive. But if I had added it on here, that means I've got to start off with no flower motive. So just to keep the pattern the same throughout. I worked this granny square and then I went on to work that granny square and then I came back and I joined my center granny square and it was my next granny square and then I did the same on the other side. So this is just a detailed breakdown of what I actually did because this is not an easy pattern. It's more of an intermediate pattern. The granny squares are easy to work. The thing that makes this an intermediate pattern is the way that it's joined or working this flower motive when joining. So that's the difficult part. Well, I won't say difficult. I'll just say that uh, there's steps to be followed to get it done. Okay, so for my sleeve, I worked the sleeve separately and then joined onto the body panels. My sleeve, I started off on my first round, just as I had done for on the body, working this together in the round. And the steps are the same as for the body. You can add as many granny squares as need be to get the, the width of the sleeve that you're looking for. I just used two, so that was easy. And then round two of the sleeve, it's the same as I worked the body, the round two, I added one granny square at a time. And then round three was the same as round two where I added one granny square at a time. So to join the, the sleeve to the body panels, I actually seamed these stitches together. So what you see here, it doesn't look like it's seamed, but it's actually seamed together. So yeah, with your needle, your yarn needle, and the same color of your cotton yarn. So that seemed to join. And then I worked my edging at the bottom of the sleeve. I worked edgings 
here at the bottom of my top and I worked an edging around the neckline. So that's basically the rundown of how I went about this working this top here's the measurements after washing it's washed and dried let's see i've just got it flat nice and flat here let's see yeah it's around 17 just just over 17 inches so that's 44 centimeters and then the length from the neck going down is 16 inches so that's 41 centimeters and then from the shoulder going down is 21 inches so that's 53 and a half centimeters so that just it did shrink slightly but this it does stretch out again that's okay so those are the measurements just to give you a guide of what this top measures and what size it fits it's for a size medium i find that the best way to go about this pattern is to actually make notes i think watch the tutorial and make notes because there are times when we are repeating a lot of things but there's quite a few steps involved so make those notes just to help you along as you work this tutorial. It makes it much more, it makes it a lot easier working that way. That's just my opinion. So yeah, let's get on with this tutorial. For the materials, you will need your yarn. Now I'm using a hundred percent cotton yarn this is pure cotton and um i've got it in five colors so my base color is the off white here and then i used a light blue a sort of a lime green a darker blue and then it's red um, you can mix up your colors as you wish you will need these colors to mix and match on your granny squares. Now these yarns are all of a four ply weight. I chose four ply. I think that um, it does get quite bulky on um, using cotton yarns, you know. So I went with four ply instead of a DK weight because the DK weight is slightly thicker than the four ply. So this is what I chose and I'm happy with the outcome on my top. And then for your hook, you'll use a four millimeter hook. Then you'll need a pair of scissors. You'll need a yarn or wool needle for weaving in all those ends. And then you'll also need stitch markers. Now these stitch markers you'll use towards the end of the tutorial. And that's to help with your flower motive here. Um, when you're working them, you'll need to place a stitch marker at the center of this motive just to guide you that that is the center. It can get a bit confusing with all these chains. So yeah, that's it. That does it for the materials. Let's begin. We'll begin working a full granny square. So it's form a slip knot. Then it's chain five. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Into that first chain, slip stitch to join. Now we formed a little, a tiny little ring. We'll be working all our stitches into this ring. So then it's chain three and we're working round one. Chain three. Chain three counts as our first stitch. In this case, a double crochet. Then it's chain two, one, two. And into that ring, work your next stitch 
double crochet. So that's yarn over, insert your hook into that ring, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through two loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two loops on the hook. So here we have our chain three, which counts as a double crochet, then it's a chain two and a double crochet. Then it's chain two, double crochet into that ring, chain two, double crochet into that ring, continue on until you have eight double crochets. So we've got one, two, three, four, then it's chain two, double crochet, So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight double crochets. Now to end the round, it's chain two and into my third chain from the starting three chains, slip stitch to join. At this point, you can fasten off and cut off the excess. We'll now change, bring in our change of color. So into the chain two space right there, we'll attach our next color. Now we will begin working our first corner. So to work this, if you find it difficult, you may go ahead and just make a little knot to join your yarn. So here goes. It's chain three. Chain three counts as our first stitch, a double crochet. Then we'll work another double crochet into that same chain two space. Then it's a chain two and two more double crochets into that same chain two space. So this, what we formed here, becomes our first corner. Then it's chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. That's one, two, chain two into the next chain two space we'll work our second corner so for that it's a two double crochets chain two two double crochets all into the same chain two space so here it is and that is our second corner then it's chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two. So here we'll work our third corner, which is two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets all into the same chain two space. That's our third corner. Then it's chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two. So here we'll work our fourth corner, which is two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets, all into the same chain two space. So that's our fourth corner. Then it's chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Then it's chain two and into the third chain from our chain three right at the start, we can slip stitch to join. You can now fasten off and cut.
cut off the excess yarn. Now we'll work round three with our next color. So in two, we'll always start each round into a corner here. So that's the chain, uh, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, and into that chain two space is where we'll begin our next round. So bring it up. You'll always work to work corners into corners. So here at the first corner, it's chain three counting as our first stitch. Then it's a double crochet, chain two, two double crochets all into that same chain two space. So if you look at it, here's the corner from second round and here's the corner from the third round. Then it's chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, here I am at my second corner, so I'll work a corner into that chain two space. That's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets into that corner. Chain two, two double crochets into the chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets into the chain two space. Chain two, a corner into this next corner. So that's two double crochets. Chain two, two double crochets into that same chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, a corner into the last chain two space or the last corner, should I say, from the round before. So that's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets all into that same space. Then it's chain two, two double crochets into the chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets into the last chain two space. Then it's a chain two and into the third chain from our first, our starting chain three slip stitch to join. You can now fasten off and cut off the excess yarn. Bringing in my next color and starting off at the corner, that chain two space in between a corner, attach yarn. So you'll work your first corner. And you'll continue on with the pattern, working two double crochets into the chain two spaces and a corner into every corner. I've completed round four, here it is. So you'll see for each round, we are increasing on the number of stitches um, in between our corners. Like here, we've got one set. And then if you look at the next round, there's actually two sets bef in between the corners. And for the next round, it's three sets, one, two, three, and here's the corners. And that happens on all the sides. So for my last round on this granny square, again at the corner, I'll bring in my change of color. I 
I'll work a corner here. And continue on with chain two, two double crochets into the chain two spaces. And at the corners, it's chain uh, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets. Once I get to the end, I'll slip stitch into the third chain from chain three to join. Now I've completed all my rounds. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. And this is exactly as it is in the image that I'm working towards. You can make yours smaller if you'd like, if you're looking to make it for children sizes and things like that. But I, I'm going for the image that I had seen. So um, once you're done with your last round, you can fasten off and then we'll weave in all these ends. So to weave in the ends, you need to weave in match your colors. So that means you weave in the same color into really the same color. So here goes into there with your yarn needle and you can go back and forth into that same color. Once you're satisfied, you can cut off on the excess and you'll continue on to weave in all your ends. For the half granny square at the neckline, you will see that in the tutorial, mine looks slightly different from yours. And that's only because I worked an exact half granny square and that didn't work out for the pattern. If you look at it here, it's slightly, it goes up slightly at the neckline. And what we want the neckline to do is curve inwards. So I changed the half granny square pattern that I will be sharing with you. And here it is. When working the granny square for the neckline, you'll start off in the same way as you did for your granny square with that initial chain five. And then this was what it looked like for our initial granny square. So here we had eight double crochets, but for our granny square at the neckline we only have one two three four five six double crochets then you'll take your bring in your next color and into that first chain two space bring in your next color into that chain space attach chain three counting as my first stitch Then into that same chain space, double crochet, chain two, then into the next chain two space, we'll work a corner. So that's two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets, all into that same chain two space. Then it's chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, a corner into the next chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets into the last chain two space. Fasten off, cut off on the excess yarn. So this is what we have. For round three, here we starting in between those two double crochets that we had started off with. 
So there are no chain spaces here. It's just in between those two stitches. Bring in your next color. Then it's chain three, counting as our first stitch. That's chain three. And then it's chain two. So we have a chain five. And then into that next chain two space, work two double crochets. Chain two, a corner into the corner. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, a corner into the corner. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, a double crochet in between the last two double crochets from the round before. So that is what we have. You can now fasten off and cut off on the excess. We'll now work round four, bring in your next color. So into that chain space, attach your yarn. Chain three, counting as our first double crochet. Then it's chain a further two, into that same space, work two double crochets. So what we have here is a chain three, chain two, and two double crochets. Then it's chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, a corner into the corner. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, a corner into the corner. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. chain two. So here we're working two double crochets into this chain two space. We'll also work a chain two and one more double crochet. So that's two double crochets. One. Two. Then it's a chain two and one more double crochet into that space. So we've ended off just as we had started off with a double crochet, chain two, two double crochets, and on the side, a double crochet, chain two, two double crochets. Fasten off, cut off the excess.
and bring in your next color. So here into that chain space right at the start, attach yarn. So this is our fifth round. It's chain three. Chain three counts as our first double crochet. Chain a further two. Into that same space, work two double crochets. One, two, then it's chain two. Two double crochets into the next chain two space. One, two, chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, a corner into the corner. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, a corner into the corner. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two, two double crochets into the next chain two space. Chain two. So here we're working two double crochets, chain two and one double crochet all into that last chain two space. So that's my two double crochets and then it's my chain two and one more double crochet all into that chain two space. So here's my granny square or half the granny square for the neckline. Now it's quite different from the initial one that I made which I had used in the tutorial. You'll see that this one it sort of curves slightly i think this would give you a better a much better neckline you can go ahead and weave in all your ends now catch me for part two of the tutorial where i'll show you how to put all these granny squares together to form this top 